Hey guys, and welcome to the second part of our film learning special on the iFootage A1S3 motion control rig. If you haven't seen the review, check that out right here. So you might be asking yourself, sure, having a motion control rig might be cool, but what can you really do with it besides move from left to right and make pretty camera moves like these? Well, I showed one example of a simple move involving myself and Doug comped into a moving shot together. So today, I wanna to show you how to combine the two in After Effects to make that shot. So, how do we do that? Well, it ain't that hard, really. In order to complete this effect, you first need to program in your camera move and do a dry run with nobody in the shot, a la a clean plate. Then, you simply jump to the shot at various points in time, making sure you don't take up the same space as your previous incarnation. And if we do a split screen right now, this is what we're left with multiple takes of the same shot that have your actor in a different position. And now that we have them, we need to combine them in After Effects like Voltron and their Tiger Robots. So, let's get to work. Okay gang, here we are in After Effects. I have my comp set up and ready to go. Now before we get started, I just wanna point out something that's a bit tedious when it comes to completing these kinds of effects, and that's syncing up your shots. Now this rig might be able to repeat the same shot over and over and over again, but it's up to you to take them into your editor and make sure they're both starting and stopping at the exact same time before you send them over to After Effects. And if your shots say longer and you have several tracks, this can get a tad frustrating as your clips have to be exact, and I mean exactly the same frame by frame, or they won't blend and your shot won't work. A great tip is go to the end of each take when the camera stops moving and use that as your out point. That way you have an end point for every single take. So that's my sermon on that. Now, onto the actual effect, because once this part is done, this ain't a hard effect. So here are my two tracks. I know I mentioned a clean plate too, but in the case of this shot, it's not very complicated and we don't need it. So all we need to do is select our top footage layer, grab the rectangle tool up here, and draw a mask around Doug here. We'll then hit F and feather it out, say, 25 to 50 pixels. That's it. If we check out a preview, you can now see we have our dolly in move and it's blended seamlessly. You can even do this inside Premiere Pro with a crop tool. But say we wanted to combine a few more shots together in more of an advanced move. You know, kick it up a notch. Well, let's take a look at this shot from the opening. As you can see, we have multiple versions of myself in one shot and it's panning left to right. So how do we make this? Well, it's not much harder really. In this case, since it's a moving shot, we're gonna be animating the mask path of each actor rather than just split screening because our camera is moving left to right. So basically, I'm just gonna draw a rough mask around each actor. We'll then hit F and feather it out, say, 25 to 50 pixels. As you can see, the layer underneath is still obscured by my mask. So let's just adjust that. There we go, much better. We'll then collapse down the mask menu, hit the stopwatch on mask path, and then just head to the end of the comp and then position that mask so it's still in the right place. Much better. We'll rinse and repeat that for each take. And if we check out a preview, you can see it's really just that simple. You've now got three different takes of your actor in different positions and it's seamless. And not only is it seamless, but it looks really cool. And that my friends is two shots. And, uh, add up all those steps and you get something like this. So that's taking multiple moving shots and combining them together. It's pretty easy and opens the door to all kinds of effects like teleporting or interacting with yourself. Whatever you like really, it's up to you. Guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. For more info on all iFootage has to offer, click that link in the description and stay tuned next week for a sneak peek at our effects laden season return. Oh, and keep learning. <laughs>